What would you think if I told you that the most beautiful woman in Hollywood, the famous Hedy Lamarr, in addition to dazzling on the screen, was the mind behind a technology that we use every day today? What if I told you that, according to some rumors, she may have been involved in dark military espionage secrets during World War II. How could a Hollywood actress change the course of technology? Stay until the end, because this story is much deeper and more enigmatic than you imagine. Born Hedwig Eva Maria Kiesler in Vienna in 1914, Hedy Lamarr came into the world in a wealthy family, the daughter of a banker and a pianist. Since she was a child, she showed an unusual curiosity about the operation of mechanical devices. What kind of actress takes apart toys and devices? Hedy did. He spent hours disassembling. And although no one knew it at the time, that childlike curiosity would be key to a revolutionary invention. But Hedy's talent wasn't limited to mechanics. At the age of 16, she began her acting career in Europe and soon gained notoriety for her role in the film Ecstasy, a controversial work that made her a worldwide scandal. But behind that fame, a brilliant mind was gestating ideas that would change the history of technology. Why didn't anyone see it coming? Could it be that her beauty was a distraction to hide her true intellect? If you want to know how this young actress went from controversy to the invention of a revolutionary, revolutionary technology, like and subscribe, because the best of this story is yet to come. In 1933, at age 19, Hedy married Fritz Mandel, an arms magnet with connections in extremist and fascist political circles, including figures such as Mussolini and, rumored, Hitler. This couple exposed her to high-level meetings where she listened to discussions about advanced military technology and secret weapons. Mandel controlled every aspect of his life, forbidding him to act and restricting his freedom. But Hedy, far from resigning himself, absorbed every detail of those military conversations. In 1937, fed up with her husband's control and fearful of the dark alliances he had, she planned a daring escape from Austria. She escaped disguised as her maid, taking with her jewels and, according to some rumors, secret documents. What secrets would you have heard in those meetings? And how far was she willing to go to escape her husband's dark and dangerous world? In London, Hedy met Louis B. Meyer, the head of MGM, who took her to Hollywood and reinvented her as Hedy Lamarr. Films such as Algiz, Night in the Soul and Samson and Delilah made her an icon of Hollywood's golden age. But what the public didn't know is that Hedy was leading a double life. Behind the diva image, Hedy was a self-taught inventor. He had set up a laboratory in his own home where he studied engineering and chemistry. How did an actress in Hollywood develop advanced military technology in her home? And why did no one suspect his true intentions? In 1940, as World War II ravaged Europe, Hedy teamed up with composer George Antile. Inspired by pianola roles, they devised a system in which radio signals could change frequency synchronously, preventing them from being intercepted by the enemy. The goal? Guide torpedoes safely, without the enemy being able to interfere. They filed a patent in 1942 and offered their invention to the US government. But the Navy rejected it, calling it impractical. Was it really too advanced an invention for the time? Or were there hidden reasons for it to remain secret? Leave us a comment on what you think. Do you think her invention was intentionally ignored because she was a woman? 
This is where Hedy Lamarr's story takes a dark and conspiratorial turn. Some believe that the US government rejected his invention because they didn't want an actress, let alone a woman, to be recognized for advanced military technology. Others think his invention was so valuable that it was classified as a secret, quietly exploited for years. There are theories that suggest Lamar may have secretly worked for the Allies, sharing military information she had had access to in Austria, or even involved in intelligence missions. Although there is no conclusive evidence, some argue that his connections to influential figures in Europe and Hollywood facilitated the flow of confidential information. Was she really a covert spy, helping the Allies with secrets vital to the war? Or is it just another rumor about his life full of mysteries? Although her invention was left in the shadows, Hedy was not entirely forgotten. However, she was underestimated and judged by her appearance and not by her intellect. Women of her time faced a wall of prejudice, and Hedy was no exception. He was told that his place was selling war bonds and supporting the war effort with its beauty, not in the laboratory. Hedy's patent expired and the frequency hopping system was later used as the basis for the development of modern technologies, such as Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth. And while her invention became a mainstay of wireless technology, she didn't get a dime. Do you think it was fair that Hedy did not receive recognition for her invention during her lifetime? It wasn't until the 1980s, after documents were declassified, that the world discovered that the Hollywood star had also been a pioneer in military technology. Finally, in 1997, the Electronic Frontier Foundation awarded her the Pioneering Award, recognizing her as the visionary who had advanced her time. Hedy Lamarr's story not only reminds us of the scientific advances, but also of the obstacles she faced. It invites us to question how many other inventions and contributions have been buried in history by prejudices, by the selfishness of those who preferred to maintain control of revolutionary technologies. How many stories like Hedy Lamarr's are still hidden in the archives? How many inventors have been forgotten or silenced for convenience? Maybe we'll never know. Hedy Lamar was much more than a pretty face, she was a brilliant mind in an age that wasn't ready to accept her. His legacy in science and technology continues to inspire generations. And as we navigate wireless technology, we are all connected, in one way or another, to the mind of a woman who lived between glamour and mystery, and whose ingenuity lives on in every device we use today. If you were fascinated by Hedy Lamarr's story, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. How many other people could we inspire with her legacy?